There's been changes lately at Pond, with hundreds of visitors flocking to take to the water as if it were a posh toilet at a music festival. Two young froglets were sitting on lily pads a while back when they thought they'd spotted reflection of a lady in Pond. Seeing out, the silly fuckers instantly drew a conclusion it must be a vision of Virgin Fairy herself. They hopped off to tell Priest. Despite the fact they were usually told to be quiet about anything he said or did, or God would smart them dead, in this case he said it would be a great idea to spread word that Virgin Fairy had blessed Bond and it would now bring cures to the afflicted. Word spread like a prostitute's legs and within a couple of months Bond was attracting visitors like turds to a sewage works with similar effects. The church started selling bomb water in commemoration crap. French amputees started arriving in wheelchairs, hoping to get their legs back, and even non-believers started selling dragonfly kebabs and maggot flapjacks. Priests then decided that they needed to create a ceremony and parade, so fairy followers would not be disappointed by a pond full of piss and shite. Whilst the greedy fuckers were raking in the cash, the rest of the community were footing the bill for a better bond filter. And strain, this put on resources to us all. We asked the church for a contribution, but it claimed tax-free status and told us to fuck off. It said that we would benefit from increasing trade and population. It is true that we have had many new taxpayers but also increased outgoings to accommodate them. Now we are slaves to bullshit. As if visitors knew it was a crock of shark, they would not come and we would face economic disaster. With too many frogs to sustain the level of the new infrastructure without the outside pilgrim's cash. So now we all pretend to see the Virgin Fairy or Our Lady of No Cock, as we like to call her, and keep up the pretense that we were cured from fatal diseases by dipping in a shit-filled pond. Those that had died in the process never seemed to complain. This idea of pilgrimages has spread like priestly seamen in an orphanage with stories of visions of holy relics that demand worship, obedience and cash from brainwashed followers. In one place they have built a black box that they say contains the devil that Almighty Bayek, praise be his name, placed there, so it cannot be opened. You've got to love the cheek and imagination of this one. Followers can pay to throw stones at box. And it's become a legend that if you do not go to do this you will not be a true follower or get into fairy kingdom after death. Just to reinforce the holiness of this mental retarded bullshit, they have all banned non-believers from anywhere near the site, probably so no one can feel the utter embarrassment of being laughed at and being called stupid fuckers. I'd like to say that you can't make this shit up, but some bugger did. Other places have the relics or the bones of some poor old buggers that died horrible deaths, yet they say they have magical powers of healing and wealth. These shrines and nonsense then become sacred and holy places, to the point of tribal war if you so much as step near them with a modicum of criticism. Of course, the more pilgrims you get, the less they want to be called stupid, when truth is revealed, and this just hardens their faith even more, plus the fact that the more they are in number, they can claim the majority can't be wrong. If you think about it, it's brilliant in conception. And we'd be laughing our heads off if we weren't being threatened with beheading for blasphemy. I might seem like a miserable old bastard. But I used to love the old bomb before it were fenced off and the entrance booth was installed. If the Virgin Fairy did visit here, then it's unlikely she'd want to come back. It's shite. <laughs>